Hello everyone, this is Richard, and this is episode 30 of Richard Plays Minecraft. And we are actually in 1.7, as you can probably guess from these textures. I think this actually looks really awesome, the new swamp biome textures, the way it transitions and everything, the way these um, sugarcane has different colors. So I actually think I'm going to keep this. Originally I didn't like the swamp textures because they really always looked really bad and didn't match with the rest of the terrain, but I think I'm definitely going to keep this um, and keep swamp textures enabled. I do not have OptiFine running at the moment, which is why everything's so slow, but I was able to get the villager info mod running, and I figured I'd waited way too long to do another Richard Plays Minecraft episode, and so I figured I'd just do one now. So, I have been pretty busy, and so I won't get to do much building in this, but I do have a few ideas in mind for quick, simple things to do, and um, I still think it'll be a pretty good episode, so I don't want to ramble on too long. And I'll just explain stuff as we go along. So I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to do... I think what we, I want to do next is some fishing with a new system. So I'll be back. So one thing, one other thing I want to mention is let me turn on F3 so it's easier to understand. But as you can see now, this is a desert biome, finally. It still has the snow in it, unfortunately. But I did go and I copied this file into a bucket server, and I used World Edit to just adjust what biomes these were in, and I think I switched everything over to either both forest and desert, some is forest, some is desert, but the bottom line is hopefully there should be no more snow, and as you can see it's raining here, which is good. I'm still going to have to individually remove all these, all the snow here, and that's going to take a long time, but obviously I'll just do it gradually as I have time off camera, and um, that should hopefully one day this whole place will look really nice. And as I think I explained once before, my overall goal is to get rid of all the snow here and to replace all the sand with dirt, and I think it'll look like a really cool kind of valley. Also, you can see there's some ice there in the distance that never melted, and so I'm going to have to melt that some way as well. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly update you on that before we continued with the episode. So I will be back. Sorry for the double confusing cut. Okay, so I'm back, and I slept in order to get the rain to go away. And I made a fishing rod. Just to give you an idea of where this is, I'm just outside my village right here near the perimeter. That is actually the, what was under construction as the wall. And I just figured I'd fish right here. So, in the new 1.7 system, you're able to catch a lot more now and added a lot more variety. I think I also made it slightly different. You'll be able to see the fish come towards the line. Like, see those little splashes or fish there? You're supposed to have your particles on maximum, though, I'll be able to see it. And it's often a lot longer, it takes a lot longer to, get, uh, to catch a fish or whatever than it did before. But you can catch name tags, you can catch enchanted books, you can catch enchanted weaponry. And you only have a really short window. As soon as... Okay, there he's coming. Fish. Oh wow, and I did. I just caught a name tag. That is awesome. And I think that's actually the rarest catch. Get out of here, slime. Okay, I can make a sticky piston with that now. So yeah... Um, I want to see if I can catch any other good things, though a name tag is awesome. I can't believe I actually did that on the first try in this. I'm, I'm going to have to save this. So, it does take a long time, generally. But I think overall this new fishing system was pretty cool. You can see the splashes there are a lot more, or a lot bigger. I'm trying to think if there's anything else you can catch. I could look at the wiki page, but they added two new types of fish, I'm pretty sure. Um, they added the clownfish, and they added the blowfish. There's comes another one. Oh, and I just got the, or the pufferfish. Looks like a blowfish. But I think they're actually the, the names for the same thing, pufferfish and blowfish. But basically, I think this is actually poisonous. You can, yeah, you can eat it. My, I'm at full hunger, though, so I can't. But I'm pretty sure it poisons you and gives you nausea and a bunch of different things. So it's pretty much worthless. It's like the poisonous potato. There's really no point in keeping it. I think you use it for a, um, underwater. Yeah, you use it to make underwater breathing potions. So maybe I'll actually keep that in my potion stuff. So let me see if I can show anything else off. In um, a multiplayer server I was on, I actually f caught a bow with flame, f flame 1 power 4. It was insane. So yeah, the new fishing system almost makes it, it almost makes it pretty easy to just fish and get a lot of the materials and things you need. 
It might be a little overpowered, I think, but since you have to wait so long and you have to be really patient, I guess it might be... It might kind of even itself out. It still seems a little overpowered, but fishing did need a revamp in the game. It was quite boring. Oh, how too early. I saw that one coming towards it, but I did it before. Because you have a really short window now. I can't remember what the wiki said, but it was like... I think half a second or a second or something. You have to do it right as it comes towards it. Okay, there it comes. Oh, too early again. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Because that was actually a quicker... That was actually a quicker um, time for him. Usually it was really slow, like the first two or three times. Okay, sorry for the silence. I just don't know what to talk about. I don't really have any thing I can talk about because probably I'm gonna sh shorten this clip soon and stop it here because I don't want any of you guys to get bored just watching me fish and so I can't talk about anything big okay I got it okay and there's just the normal fish unfortunately I wasn't able to show the clown fish oh the salmon they also added salmon and you can cook that and it actually heals more than regular fish so yeah probably this was a little bit boring but if you hadn't seen the new stuff added then, if you hadn't seen that the new things were added in the fishing system, or like seen someone actually do it yourself and just heard of it, then this is actually kind of interesting for you, hopefully. And I hope it was interesting for me. I mean, that was really lucky. I never caught a name tag before, and then I catch it just right after I mentioned on camera. That was awesome. So I'm just gonna bring this to my storage room, and then we're gonna do something else, which I already have what I plan in mind. Again, I, maybe I already mentioned this. I can't remember, but I don't want to do, I don't want to do much building in this episode because I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna try and not do really any building in this episode because it always takes too long to plan out the builds. I mean, it doesn't take too long, but it would take too long for me now. I don't have the time to, I don't have that much time at the moment. So I'm gonna put this away, and let's see. I guess I'll put that slime ball away too. Also, if you guys haven't seen my storage room, because I know I've gained a lot of newer subscribers recently who may not have been familiar with this world, this is the storage room I have. It's quite basic, it's nothing fancy. And this is my um, cocoa bean farm. So, right here, this is my um, potion brewing thing. I had to um, make splash potions a weakness so that I could cure zombie villagers because that's how I've been getting all the villagers in my village. So we'll put that here. I guess it could be considered a potion supply. That might be cool though, I try and make a um, underwater breathing potion. I think they last like eight minutes. And this is my mob drops thing. I already have two name tags now. So maybe it'll be cool. I could name all the villagers. If I get more name tags, I can name all the villagers in my village eventually. And maybe I'll be able to name my horse and my cat once I get them from the island. So yeah, I'm going to cut now and I'll be back with what we're gonna do next. Okay, hello everyone, I am back and as you can tell, if you remember from the last clip, this doesn't really look any different. So yeah, I'm back in this lake and the reason I'm here is because I want to show you the zombie farm I did in, in episode, it was either 15 or 16, maybe 17 of the splits play, it was somewhere in that range, it was a long time ago because it takes me forever to release these episodes. So I'm pretty sure you can go back up and find that, look it back up and find that episode. And yeah, so I want to go and I want to see this um, zombie farm and see if it still works. And the only issue is I don't think there was a way to get back or I can't remember exactly what happened. Maybe what I can do is just let the sand fall. There's some zombies coming from that direction. I should avoid them because I don't want them to kill me. Although they're not really going to kill me, but this isn't Project Zomboid. It's not that hard. I was more afraid they set me on fire because they were on fire. I forgot because I hadn't played Minecraft on a regular basis in so long that that could actually happen. And it happened earlier when I was off camera. Obviously, it didn't kill me though because it doesn't. They don't do much damage, but. So I guess I'm just going to have to build a gravel elevator. Well, I forgot there was a torch there, so that didn't work out well. But I guess I was pretty lucky down to half a heart. 
So yeah, okay, I built a staircase here. Ah, uh -uh, okay. So, that will be helpful in the future so I don't just fall down. Also, you may notice the keyboard clicks are gone. Or at least are a lot less, and that's because I'm actually using a Mac keyboard right now. It's one of those with a soft key. I don't know exactly. I think they're called soft keys. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're the ones that are really have a really low profile and are not mechanical. I don't generally like those type of keyboards, but I have no really other choice. I like mechanical a lot more. So yeah, this is actually where I built my enchantment table, and I'm pretty sure this is where the actual zombie dungeon is. And it's hard to get a good view in here, so what I might do is just raise this up one, this half slab. I think some are actually spawning in, though. Because basically the way I designed it, it was pretty primitive because I didn't have much time then. Well, pretty much like now. It's kind of been the story of my life. But I didn't have much time then, so I designed it kind of quick. And basically they just... Oh, whoops. Cancel. Must actually hit some key that does like the Twitch broadcasting system that was added in 1.7. So let me make sure. Yeah, it's gotta be on normal. So why aren't they spawning? Well, the way I designed it, they spawn here. And then they fall down. Okay, yeah, it spawns some. Then they fall down here. And they get pushed all the way down. And it they fall all the way down there and it damages them just one... Um, to just one heart where I can punch him. That's kind of standard typical design, I think. The water streams are pretty normal. There's no redstone, I don't think, in here. I didn't ever get a chance to, like, have a redstone activation and deactivation. So what I'm probably going to do is I need to get nine levels so that I can enchant a sword. Because I actually brought two diamonds with me so I could craft a sword. So we have here. I have them in my, um storage room in the um, stone and now I'm down to 25 because I realized I did a fair amount of mining in the beginning off camera of the series but I never actually built and made anything with it so now we have our first diamond sword for some reason that did not give an achievement I don't know what Minecraft was doing that should have given an achievement so I think I'm just going to AFK here for a bit and I'm pretty sure these are in range that they shouldn't despawn so I'm just going to AFK here and hopefully it'll be enough to get me a level 30. And so we can enchant it. Okay everyone, I'm back. It's been, I think, 15 minutes or so. I didn't have a whole long time to AFK, and I figure that's enough for 9 levels, hopefully. So we're gonna drop down here and see how many we got. Holy cow, I did not count on that. Oh, I forgot baby zombies can escape. So I certainly did not anticipate that was going to happen. Wow. Obviously it wasn't like that when I made this in um, episode 15. So hopefully if I just punch them. And some of them have armor, which I guess is another added benefit of this. And that's probably a little too loud, so I'm going to turn... I guess it would be hostile creatures. And there. So I'm just going to speed through this and I'll show how many levels I got at the end. Okay, we hit level 30. And exactly level 30. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah, I think this is... I don't know exactly how I would fix this now that they... The baby zombies could enter it. That's gonna be an interesting thing. I guess i just block it off, but even then... Okay, I feared it was gonna be nighttime. No, it looks like it's daytime, actually, which is good.
because I see light coming through the areas and leaves. So yeah, there's no way I get back up from there. Unfortunately, I didn't have a whole long time to build that. So I have to go all the way back up here and then all the way back down. But then, hopefully, as long as nothing kills me, we're going to enchant it. Because that's why there's a hole there. I'm pretty sure when I came up there once before, a creeper was there and he blew up. At least that's what the hole would seem to imply. So, where is that entrance that I made to get down? Since the last one didn't work out so well when I just fell down there. It's got to be really near to that, so... Okay, it must be that. It must be that area. Yeah, this is it. Because I don't want to take damage this time. So anyway, hopefully you saw that little speed through I did. If you saw my um, Project Zomboid videos, you'll notice I've been trying to take a lot more time and edit my videos a lot nicer, cut through parts that aren't quite as good. But at the same time, I like you guys to be able to get the full experience, so I like to, uh, when I keep the parts, I try and keep parts that are important. Oh, and we got chain, a uh, chain helmet. Maybe if I can get a few more chain helmets, that'll be pretty cool. I still think actually chain is worse than iron, I'm pretty sure, so it's probably not all that good, but maybe I could put it in an item frame or something. So, let's see what we got. Okay, drum roll, please. Ah, oh, what a bummer. Fire Aspect 2. For that, I should have enchanted a book. <laughs> well, hopefully I can, I'll just start enchanting books in the future. And then, when I enchant the books, I'll be able to apply them to this with an anvil. Anyway, that's kind of a disappointment for our first sword. Fire Aspect, I guess, is still nice because it would set the mobs on fire, but there's a lot better things I could have gotten on a sword with 30 levels. I mean, I know I'm not that good at enchanting. I don't know a whole lot about it. I didn't participate much in it, but I already know there's a lot more stuff I could have gotten better. So I think that's going to have to be all for this episode. I'm sorry it was so short, but just haven't had much time lately. I will try and make the episode, the next episode, better. There's a lot of spiders here. Let's see if this at least works, though. Seems to have knockback, too. Knocked that guy fairly. Must have been a critical hit, and that's why it knocked him back. Wow, even with him jumping, he can't reach me. Okay, of course, until I fall into the hole. How on earth did... Yeah, even Fire Aspect 2 is not very good. I think there's probably more levels of Fire Aspect, or maybe that's the highest. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Richard, out.